The HTC Droid DNA reaches stores today, AT&T softens up a little bit more on FaceTime, and Google fixes another bug on Android, but two years later. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering if there will be turkey for dinner, and this is Pocket Now Daily. I know we've teased you enough with all the coverage that we've given to the HTC Droid DNA on Verizon with our review and comparisons, but as you heard in our Pocket Now weekly podcast, we're just getting started. There's a lot more content coming up, but if you're sure that this is the device for you, well, it's now being sold on Verizon for just $200 after a two-year contract. If you consider everything that you're getting out of the box with this phone, I'd really consider that a really good deal for this holiday season. AT&T seems to be giving more thought on FaceTime over cellular data for iPhones. If you remember, they loosened up a bit for the iPhone 5 on tier data plans recently. And apparently we also have reports now that iPhone 4S customers are now being able to get FaceTime over cellular. And also we've got cases of people even having grandfathered unlimited data plans also getting FaceTime over cellular. So is that your case? Please leave us a comment down below. Now, if you're currently on the ropes trying to figure out if you should get a Nexus 7 or a Nexus 10 this holiday season, we don't blame you. These are two great tablets and two great price points, and Joe Levi just took the time to compare them both in a video, and he even added the old generation Motorola Zoom into the video because after all, this was Motorola's first tablet, even though that was Android 3.0 Honeycomb. And yeah, we all hated that, but there's a really good comparison here that'll help you make up your mind. So far, I'll be honest with you, I kept the Nexus 7, but still, the Nexus 10 is really cool. You should definitely consider it. Now, rumors of the Galaxy S4 began, well, right after the Galaxy S3 was launched, but this time the new reports have Samsung working on bringing their display technology to the same 441 pixels per inch and 1080p resolution that we have on the HTC Droid DNA, but apparently Samsung is having a little trouble being able to port their Super AMOLED technology into these many pixels per inch, though there is still a lot of time to wait for the Galaxy S4, probably May next year, though we are waiting to probably be teased on some on either CES 2013 or MWC 2013. We'll keep you posted. And finally, for the ridiculous news of the day, back in April 2010, and I didn't get that wrong, that's April 2010, an Android 2.1 Eclair customer complained on a support thread in Google about the fact that his device was having trouble resolving domains, especially over Wi-Fi. And well, lots of complaints, and 938 days later, Google finally responded to this customer saying, hey, yes, we've acknowledged that we found the bug and we're gonna send out a software update to fix it, which is ridiculous because there's no guarantee that first of all, that device will ever get the update, and second, the customer most likely doesn't have the device anymore. So that leads me to the question of the day. How do you feel about the fact that you're not really sure if you're going to get the next version of Android or any upgrade because you know the way things are with Android? But in my personal case, I always stuck to Nexus devices just to avoid the drama, but ever since I started using the Galaxy S3 as my daily driver, I'll be honest with you. I really hate the fact that I'm still stuck on Ice Cream Sandwich, so leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.